Off screen, I went ahead and cloned this section a couple more times, renamed those two columns. These are just temporary placeholders. We can change the names later. And all I did here is go into Quick Edit and change the name of this header. But now we want to add a new quest. And just this little plus sign lets you add quest to this particular column, this map section. Now, later we'll talk about these templates and global templates and what you can do with them, including setting up your own. But for now, I'm just going to choose a new empty quest and create that quest. A light box opens where we can click right here and add our title. The access locks allow you to schedule, to set up times when quests open up, to lock them. There's all kinds of features. What kind of locks do you want? The, the power here is breathtaking. But for right now, all I want to do is just go into stages and we want to add a little content. And it could be as simple as info and vid. I know I'm going to put some form of instruction on my quest and I know there's going to be a video because I teach via video and when you put this online, it's really beneficial that in addition to written instructions, you get a little kind of video pep talk that allows the kids to get a little more detail, a little more no nuanced detail, and you can demonstrate things visually so they can read it, see it, hear it, and do it. Um, one more thing before we get out of here is just for encountering the quest, just for clicking on that button, should they get experience points? Now, without going into great detail, I'll tell you that my click-through rate, WordPress gives you all kinds of de uh, data on your users. When we went to a gamified system and I added five experience points just for clicking a link, it went from 60 to 70% to the high 90s to 100% on virtually every quest that's required. Kids love to see that XP pop up. Um, we'll talk about the featured image and everything else later, the call to action, final rewards. There's more to it, but right now, if we just scroll down and click update, our quest is set up. And now when we click on that, we're going to get 5 XP that's going to pop up. And the student sees, you know, this information here, which, you know, is insufficient. I'm going to go ahead and abandon this. So the XP is removed. You notice my progress bar went back down. And now what I'd like to do is edit this quest and replace this vid placeholder. Need to get rid of the text. If you're in the visual tab, if you're in the text tab, you can paste right over it. But now I want to switch over to YouTube and snag this video. Okay. In the share, you can copy this link up here. I don't like all this gobbledygook. I'm autistic, and we'll talk more about that later, but I like this nice, clean link because I know I can trust it. I'm not sure what's going on up here. So I've just copied that link, and if you miss that, you just click on Share and click Copy, and you get that copy to your clipboard. I'm going to switch back over, paste that link, and that video automatically is embedded. Scroll back down, click Update, and this works with... Instagram and Twitter and, and Vimeo and anything that, that taps into the O-embed um, code that we're using in order to make this work. So now if I click on the Gameful intro button, I still don't have my written instructions, but I've got a video sitting there for you that you watched a few videos ago. And you know now because you watched it, when you click on it, it goes full screen. It opens up in this light box and, you know, starts rambling. This is such a great way. Plus, you get all kinds of data on the background. How long is that video? How long did students engage? All of this is tracked on the back end. Once you aren't going to believe the granular data you get 
from this that's all collected automatically and easily accessible via the clipboard as well as the stats panel and in other places. Um, but for right now, that's how simple it is to create a quest and come back over here to the quest maps and we can then move on down. Before I begin cloning, we need to talk a little more about the other loot that's involved, the reward system. Just so you don't think it's carrots and sticks, completely separate loot from grades. And then it ceases to be a carrot and stick and becomes more of an intrinsic motivator for a lot of kids. Again, we'll talk more about this too, but that's how easy it is to create a quest.